The one which in, in another new feature in the 2013 R2, which is quite small but very powerful, is the ability to input record start packages from a command line using the PowerShell. Some of you who attended the upgrade session just, just before that, uh, you can see how powerful PowerShell is. So we decided to, to use the same uh, pattern here, and, um, and basically what, what, what was done is we created a code unit, uh, 8620, which has a method called import and apply rapid start package. And you can use one of the system commandlets which are included in the 2013 R2 server to invoke the code unit, calling a method in the code unit and passing the path to the rapid start file as a parameter. So there's, um, there's a script that I can show you. And you can see it's quite simple. So if I want to run it from this uh, PowerShell ISE environment, I need to let it know all of the commandlets that the server is using. And these commandlets are stored inside of the NAD admin to PS1 file. So it's, it's in the server over here. Once we load that into, the, into this PowerShell environment, we can call then another command called uh, invoke an AD code unit. So there are different ways how you can do it. For example, uh, the simplest case would be just calling the invoke code unit. You specify which company you want to uh, import this rapid start package to. Uh, you specify the, the server name, some of the additional details, and just run it. Or you may want to create another uh, PowerShell statement that will import rapid start package into all companies within this database. So this can be, well, we, we found the first application in the upgrade scenario. So when you do the data upgrade from one version to another, quite often you need to import some data post-upgrade, like source codes, uh, new number series, new text codes. So what you can do, you create a rapid start package, you put it into a specific path, and then you use invoke any code unit command that to, to run that, uh, that script and it will put the package into the right place in the application. There is, by the way, a, a continuation to this story. So what you, what you can do with that, and uh, there are some, some partners who got these brilliant ideas. So what happens is, uh, some customer says that, I only want to create journal lines in Excel from now on, because I like Excel very much. I can drag and drop things. I can go into Excel, create all my journal lines there, and I want you to post it for me later. So what, what, what actually is possible with this way of doing things is you create a configuration package that will create an Excel template. So you export a general journal line into Excel template. Now you have all the columns and all the fields. Uh, your customers populate these fields with uh, the data. They can drag and drop things and then copy all the different templates. And then you save this uh, template uh, import it back into the rapid start and use the task scheduler to import the rapid start package into uh, into the enemy. So just to show you this example, so there is a standard normal Windows task scheduler, and what I've done, I've uh, created another task here called rapid start. Now there is an important uh, comment to that. Invoke an AD code unit commandlet uses the credentials of the user who is currently logged in into the system. So this person must be a user in the database where you put the data to. So let's say that I'm, uh, I'm logged in as some system account. Then this system account must be a user. So this was done for security reasons so that uh, so that you specifically give permissions to this user to insert, to invoke different code units. So it goes through any security system while calling this invoke code unit method. So I'm just, I just set a few parameters that yes, I want to run it by under my current account. <coughs> uh, the trigger, I want to run it, so there's a good flexibility when I want to run it, daily, weekly, so when I want to import this rocket start package, for example, the new items arrive every morning into this particular folder. I want to bring them in, into the NAD. So I set that up uh, in the schedule. And then I go into actions and I say this. So I will call a PowerShell 
script. And uh, I will say that it should be non-interactive if I don't want to see the, the window popping up with the importing of the rocket start package. And then I pass a parameter to this script where to find the configuration package. So basically what it does, it calls the script that I created here at the specified time and the data gets imported into the end So if you want to take a copy of